Okay, hello guys. These are my expo pickups from Terra Fair this um, Sunday. So I got um two extra so material ratum, a male and a female. This is my original female that I left, and this is the male I think, and that's the female that I got. I got both of these for fifteen euros. They were the last one the seller had. He was the only one that had some at the entire expo. And these are the last two he had, so I'm really lucky to have found these. Because I had three of them, two of them died because my dad didn't take care of them that well while I was out in Sweden. But now I have some more, so that's great. And these are um, another type of phasma I got that I pre ordered of someone, but his stock died because of the heat before the expo. And it was, again, the same seller that only had these left and no other ones, so I legit got the two species of phasmids I wanted. That were the last ones at the entire expo, so I'm really lucky there. And this was one person at the expo that was really cool. It was um, Origin Ants. And their website's originants.com. And they had loads of big ant colonies on the expo. And they were selling lots of queens. And it was awesome. I've got like 10 lashes Niger queens right now. Some with pupae, some with larvae. So I've almost at, almost at my first worker. So I'm, I'll, I would love to pick up one of their setups for when uh, my colony grows, so that's pretty cool. And these were the other pickups I had. This is a Brachypelma albopilosum Nicaragua form, which is one of the Brachypelmas I was still missing, so we have one of these now. A little cutie. We also got a... Um, uh or nictho colus or iotipaliotus or something like that and a uh, lustiodora striatipus sling so that's all the animals we got at the expo so um while i'm showing you some clips of me handling my crested gecko char i'll um, explain the terrariums that were in the start i will be making these into a permanent enclosures for all my brachypalmas. I've got expanding foam, aquarium silicone, I've got some plants, I've got all the good stuff. So I'll be making those really nice and I'll be getting a new tarantula room soon. Planning to get some nice shelving units with LED lights and everything and it'll be great and it'll look awesome. So that's the plan for that. And yeah, I'll um, show you a video where I rehouse my brachypalma or ratum now because the enclosure and you didn't an upgrade. See so yeah, ya. Here's coming that. Okay guys, so I'm going to try to cut my big female crack bell model rat them out of her enclosure and redo it because she's climbing up all the way on the side of it. I don't want her falling on hurting herself. So I'll we'll try and see if I can get her out. I think I don't know how I'll do this without her like jumping out or something or you know. Oh she's kicking hairs already. Okay, so that's out. She's not happy, she's kicking a lot of hairs. Can't blame her though.
There we go. Just want to dig around the female all of her enclosure. Let's put her to the side for a bit. Let's take out the water dish. Okay, let's see what we have in here. There's some fake plants. There's some bola. Travel of the such tree has like lots of webbing on it and stuff. That corner's pretty wet, so I'm gonna like mix it up. Not just wet in that one corner. Okay, now we'll add in, make a ton of more substrate. So let me go grab my substrate. Substrate. I don't want her to be able to climb as much as she was able to before. Alright, that's the last of that. It's legit my... Uh, all of my spare stuff straight gone. That's okay. It's looking a little better already, is it? I can't really fill over this, but I'm gonna slope it upwards a bit so I'll need some more stuff straight, which I have laying somewhere. Give me a second, guys. Okay. Yikes. Oof. Okay, let's just stuff here on it. And this stuff tastes a bit damp, so um Yeah, but I bet it'll dry out just fine. I'll mix it in with the rest of it. This is a mixture of peat and cocoa fiber, so substrate in this enclosure will be a bit of a mess because it'll be like a bit of peat, a bit of cocoa fiber, a lot of cocoa fiber and a bit of peat mainly, but yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, 
Um, I think that's fine. She'll be able to go under here if she please to. Which was her original height, so. And she has her water dish that I'll clean out in a second. And I'll give her some cocoa fiber. That's interesting, I seem to have <laughs> almost run out of cocoa fiber, so um, yeah. I'm over there, into here, if she desires to. There we go. It looks a bit better already, doesn't it? I'll clean out the water dish and then I'll put that in, so one second. Okay, and the water dish has been cleaned, so I'll put that here. There we go. And I think... Oh, that's some leaf litter. that much, just a bit. Did 
There we go. I think that'll, that'll do it. And that's the final setup. It's not further ado. Let's put the tea back in there. She's being really sweet. There we go. And to her new home she goes. So thank you all for watching. That was me upgrading my um, Rakipama or Rathan's home. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video upload.